and uh, looks like uh, I don't know what the heck was going on there. It's like uh, oil in the water or something, right? Very loud. <laughs> I don't know what the heck was going on there, but uh, we have a, a submarine Corvette. All right, everybody, uh, welcome back to uh, Exo Mariner plays U-Boat, and uh, this is Dendris. Um, we're back here in uh, La Rochelle, our home port um, uh, right now at this mo moment. Um, so we just finished uh, our uh, patrol, uh, our mission rather, to... Uh, our mission to uh, rescue the... Uh, Craig's Marine officer or official um, and uh, made a friend there and so that uh, completing that mission uh, gave us the uh, Naval Academy and so uh, I think what I would like to do is see if uh, we have somebody that I'd like to see if we have somebody that we want to put into the Naval Academy um, uh, I'm not sure exactly how it works I think they get a, a an uh, like an extra skill or something like that. Um, I don't know if there's like a limit uh, to the to what they can get or the skills. Um, but uh, let's go check that out and uh, see. What we got we got to go to the uh, headquarters. And let's see here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I thought it was something. I thought the I didn't remember the uh, question mark there. Uh, but here. Okay. Here it is. Uh, Naval Academy. And uh, let's see what we can do here. So it says uh, we can uh, the Naval Academy at uh, Merwick is inviting officers from all U-boats to lead various courses for the cadets. The officers may also learn a few things in the process by meeting the other veteran officers and exchanging experiences with them. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Oh, just real quick here. Uh, it doesn't appear to cost you anything. So uh, usually there's a cost uh, involved for like headquarters uh, uh, missions and all that kind of stuff so there's no uh, uh, no cost here doesn't look like it anyways and uh, I think uh, I'm not sure what this is uh, I'm assuming so Fritz Kramer he's the guy that we rescued um, Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and, I don't know what the three is. One, I wonder what that is. Anyways, so let's go, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose him just to see what happens here. Um, so hopefully he should, uh, uh, after 16 days, he should get another skill. And so we'll find out, we'll find out what happens. Okay. Beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute Arbeit. 
And uh, so what I want to do is um, I, I want to get some more uh, uh, points. Uh, I needed to get an extra headquarters person that I can do. So I need to ask for uh, headquarters influence here. So go ahead and do that. All right. So now we can go ahead and uh, uh, get those headquarters missions going. So now we have two uh, slots. Uh, it looks like the Naval Academy takes up one slot. I wasn't sure if it did or not, but I guess it does. That's all right. And then we got to do another. Uh, I wonder, I'd like to get the, uh, the, the submarine pins uh, for La Rochelle, but, uh, they don't show up yet. I wonder why. Don't know why. Um, and I try to get, if you look at, uh, the date, um, I try to get one that's the closest, uh, if possible. Um, So, so this one's the closest. Um, I, I wonder, do I need to, uh, and I'm probably wrong. I, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong about this. Uh, is there some reason do you have to build, do you have to build uh, this pin, this submarine pin first before you can build another one? Or can you do multiple ones? Why, I'm not sure why it won't let me build submarine pin at uh, La Rochelle. Uh, it's a bummer. Um, but I think uh, we'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do it. There's nothing else. I, I, a lot of these, they're going to just take too much time. And, you know, um, I want to see what happens if I build this pin here. Um, I, I think I'll, I'll try go ahead and try that out. And let's see here. It took 30 days. 30 days. Okay. Okay. Well, 30 days. All right. All right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, get back to the... Uh, officer there talk to the leading officer again um, one thing I really like the game would would if, if you had a, the ability to not have uh, I think there probably is a way to do it um, have them you know I like it when they automatically go to their uh, stations uh, uh, but it'd be nice if there's like a, just a simple toggle I think you can set it to uh, in the settings, uh, but if there was like just a simple toggle, uh, there might be. I, I don't know about it. Um, just so I don't have to keep uh, running back and forth from the submarine every time I uh, 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 shift to another screen here. But let's talk to this guy. Um, Beim BDU wird viel über get our mission. Geredet. Gute Arbeit. Yeah, so we'll get our mission here. Um, Dies sind die heutigen Aufträge vom BDU. Streng geheim. Uh, so we got patrol sector. Happy time here. Whoa, okay. Um, very large. Very large. Um, uh, this is... I think uh, it's a death trap. <laughs> I don't know if I'd really want to go down through the uh, through the channel here and and uh, all that. Uh, probably lots of aircraft. And so the happy time. I I'm just going to go for uh, for this here. Um, and uh, 
says a uh, number of vessels are very large, so that sounds good to me. I just want to check something real quick here. What's it say? Rewards here. I just want to see. Just want to see what the rewards are. Yeah. Um, I want to do my laying there. Um, but no. I just like to want to check them out real quick. Um, definitely mine laying. I don't know what to do about the mine laying. Uh, I feel like it needs to be done, but, uh, it's just, uh, it is just not a, not a lot of interest, you know, not, not very interesting, I guess, to me. So let's go ahead. Happy time. Select this and let's get, get on our way. Not fooling around. All right, there's our boat. So uh, one of the things, uh, if you're the if you're uh, the captain of the boat, um, and you're gonna to uh, uh, go through any any uh, uh, you know uh, exit the port, go into port. Um, you're gonna be you're gonna be uh, uh, you're gonna be in, uh, you're responsible for whatever happens to the boat. So you're gonna be in charge. You're gonna be the guy that's that's uh, you, you're not gonna let the officer deck uh, um, uh, do it all on his own, right? Um, you're gonna you you, you want to make sure you're you're gonna be responsible for everything that happens. So anytime you're in in this kind of situation where you have the maneuvering watch and and uh, you're going through uh, uh, tight areas, um, captain's gonna be uh, he's gonna be involved. He's he's not gonna be fooling around. So, anyways, uh, let's get underway. So uh, prepare to get underway, maneuvering watch, set the maneuvering watch. Course setzen. Schneller, schneller. We're gonna try to, uh, I think we're a little too close. We're gonna try to uh, uh, extend, uh, extend our uh, distance a little bit uh, away from the convoy. We don't want them to be alerted. Um, then uh, uh, keep on this parallel track. All right, uh, so we've gotten ahead of the convoy. Um, it's actually uh, getting dark, so uh, by the time we uh, get in position, uh, it should be uh, nighttime and uh, uh, have an advantage um, so uh, it's it's a uh, good approach here all right uh, so we have our uh, First, uh, 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 I don't know what you call that. Uh, first sighting of uh, the destroyer and uh, merchant. Um, looks like. So we're going to uh, get into position. Periscope depth. Hopefully they didn't see us. All right. 
right. Um, looks like we got uh, merchant there. Uh, Empire Tower class. Call that velocity seven. Of course, um, again, broadside uh, is the best setup that you can do, I think, uh, personally. And then let's see here the distance. Pretty close. Let's see if we can get this one here. If we can get it to be, uh, for some reason, doesn't want to, uh, for some reason, doesn't want to, uh, uh, target here. Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Yeah. I don't know why I can't target that. Uh... Oh, there's a tanker somewhere. Is that it? Uh, is that a tanker? I can't tell. Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like it. 20 seconds. Possibly. Huh. Interesting. Okay, well, we'll try this guy. Hülnbro, Sie sinken! Feuer am Deck! Looks like a war class. Definitely want to get this tanker here. Der A ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Okay, set. Um, yeah, we're going to call that uh, set and distance. Um, All right. Rohr 2, bewässern! Rohr 4, bewässern! Okay. Rohr 2, fertig! Rohr 4, fertig! All right. So we got that one uh, merchant. Uh, it appears to be uh, 
Gone. Yep. Must have sunk. I see some uh, lifeboats over there. the uh, war sardar the torpedo is on halbem weg zum ziel 40 sekunden bis torpedo einschlag okay. 30 sekunden All right, uh, looks like we missed. Sekunden. Somehow we missed zigzags. Okay. Ten Sekunden bis Einschlag. Okay, we gotta get uh, those torpedoes loaded. Der Aal ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Der Aal ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Ja, yeah, we, we, we know it was a miss. Rohr 1 geladen. Okay. Rohr 1 bewässern. Okay. And, uh, let's do this course here. Rohr 1 bewässert. Course. Los! Well, uh, see here. Feindlicher Zerstörer auf 10 Uhr. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Okay. Well, hopefully uh, we get this one here. Vierzig Sekunden bis Torpedo einschlag. Okay, another miss. Uh, went underneath it, looks like. 20 Sekunden. He's all right. This is. Or two geladen. Or two, bewässern. 10 all right. Sekunden bis Einschlag. Say, three times, third times the charm. Let's see here. Um, let's get or the distance to as we do the uh come on as we do the uh der Aal ging daneben herr kaloy yeah i know los okay Vierzig sekunden bis torpedo einschlag 30 sekunden okay Come on. It's another... 20 Sekunden. Shouldn't be another miss. Torpedo Versager. Torpedo was a dud. Okay. Can you believe that? Still having problems with torpedoes. Still. Right. Let's try again. Let's go. Oh, eins, Los! Boy. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Sekunden. Come on. Treffer. Feuer an Deck. All right. Okay. She's going down. All right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Koordinaten setzen. 
Bestätigt. 150 Meter. Legen Sie den Kurs an. an. Ei, ei, Herr Kaloi. So nah wählen, Herr Kaloi. Ja, yeah, we're being pinged. 20 Meter. Okay, take your deep, Chief. Finally got that, uh, finally got that, uh, tanker, Warsadar, whatever, but, uh, man, one dud, well, two, two misses, one went underneath, and one dud, finally got it, I just, I guess it's, uh, the way it is, huh? Might uh, let's go and uh, we might do uh, we might do a uh, yeah we know we might do a uh, sonar decoy here. Just get ready to uh, change course and speed up if we have to. Herr Kaloi, ich habe eine große Gruppe von Schiffen festgestellt. Vermutlich ein Geleitzug. I'm hoping that they uh, concentrate on the uh, sonar decoy. See what happens. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Hundred forty. Wasserbomben! Wasserbomben! So it sounds like uh, sounds like they're uh, focused on that uh, sonar decoy. Wasserbomben! Wasserbomben!
Yeah, so we're, uh, we're just going to uh, disengage from this uh, from this convoy, um, and then uh, when it's safe, uh, go ahead and uh, surface, and uh, we'll try again. Um, we got two of the merchants. Um, I feel like. Uh, could have gotten a lot more. We'll try again. So, uh, the, the uh, blue lights uh, in the game, um, they, uh, they let you, uh, uh, you don't, you, uh, basically it's like silent running. Uh, supposedly the, uh, your crew uh, uh, uses up less, less oxygen, oxygen, less air um, with, the, with the blue lights. And uh, they're supposed to be quieter, I think. Um, I don't know if it uh, stops certain uh, operations like uh, torpedo loading and all that stuff. Um, not sure. Um, in uh, modern submarines that I and and I'm I think I've talked about it before. Um, we don't use red lights. We use we use blue. Um, but we don't use red lights. I think uh, there might have been a study that the uh, red lights uh, um, are not as uh, blue lights are better. I guess uh, study. I don't know what that uh, what the impact of the red lights. Um, If they if, uh, if they made uh, um, they made the crew uh, more aggressive or not, I don't know something like that. Anyways, um, which you know, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the study. Uh, you know, that'd be something that I'd have to look up. Um, what the impact uh, red lights had on the crew. Uh, but just to know, blue lights, what we use. Uh, now, uh, the uh, uh, there might be red lights uh, uh, set up. Uh, I think the red lights are better for night vision, so there might be areas where they still use red lights uh, on on the boat. But. Uh, it's just going off my memory. I don't remember us if we uh, uh, had red lights. Uh, I don't think they had it in control, but I'm, I couldn't tell you for sure. Um, I do know uh, certain areas, uh, uh, you know, when you have a uh, different color, so red light, if you have something that's, that's a different color, uh, it can impact uh, the color of the valve or whatever, if it's painted a certain color, right? Uh, I can't remember uh, what uh, what the impact was for uh, red lights. So it can impact your, your color vision, right? If you have red lights. I think maybe if something's green, it makes it black. I can't remember. Anyways. So we're gonna stay down here for a little bit, um, get out of the get out of the uh, target area for the for the escorts, and then uh, surface and uh, uh, get back on the hunt uh, for this convoy. I was kind of hoping that uh, another U-boat might be uh, showing up, but uh, haven't heard, haven't heard anything yet. interesting they have the uh, workers there the crewmen uh, working on their uh, their boats there it's always cool to see see them trying to fix things all right uh, we successfully uh, evaded the uh, 
escorts. Um, the sonar decoy seemed to uh, work pretty well. And uh, so now we're going to be uh, surfing the ship uh, and we're going to try to get ahead of it. Get in position again. Go for another run. Alright, uh, we're racing ahead, trying to get ahead of the convoy. You can see uh, their funnel smoke off the, off the port bow there. Um, our U-boat friend, um, I, I feel like he's south a bit, uh, but for some reason uh, he didn't engage in the convoy. But uh, we'll try again. Um, I got about uh, got five torpedoes left and uh, two of the rear torpedoes, so seven torpedoes altogether. So hopefully we can uh, use them all up. Sink more, uh, sink uh, the main merchants as I can. All right, uh, so we've made our turn. We're headed uh, directly for the uh, convoy. Convoy's directly heading for us. We're on a collision course, so to speak, I guess. Um, and uh, we're going to get in position for another uh, another run with this convoy. Um, and uh, hopefully be a little bit more successful than we were last time. All right, uh, so we're uh, managed to uh, get in position once again for these uh, merchants. Our pit. So it looks like an Empire Bell type. All right. Some reason. Why aren't the buttons working here? Bossy seven. here so I can't set huh okay what's going on here why can't I set it so try and tell me oh, this, this is what it is okay This is weird. Okay, come on. There we go. Please. Okay. Course. Set. Distance. 
I'm not sure why it did what it did. I want you to identify the ship. Come on. There we go. Rohr 1, bewässern! Rohr 3, bewässern! Here we go. Okay, good hit, sir. And uh, looks like it uh, took the bow off. So she's done. All right, let's go for our next uh, next target here. Seven course, same distance. Set. Rohr zwei, bewässern. Rohr vier, bewässern. Rohr zwei, fertig. Rohr vier, fertig. Greater dispersion, maybe. Draws! All right. Okay, they're away. So let's uh, see what we can do here. Same velocity. Feels like they sped up a little bit, but that's all right. Um, course, set, distance. Set. Oh, fünf! Bewässern! Okay. All right. All right. Let's see how we do. So it looks like we missed. Uh, <laughs> missed again. Man, I just. Uh, Having a heck of a time here. I really feel like uh, I don't know what the deal is. I mean, it's uh, I, 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 I. 
Not easy. This is not easy mode. So, obviously I'm not doing something right. Geladen. Okay. Try this again. Bestätigt. Bestätigt. Okay. Okay, we got a hit. Uh, looks, sounds like we had a hit. Okay, let's uh, let's go for this one here. Um, this looks to be uh. At velocity seven force, I want to call it that. Okay, um, distance. There we go. Um, oh, fünf. Yeah. Besser. Last torpedo. Let's cross our fingers that I did it right. Did I did okay? Like another good hit, um, and her bow is gone. Nice. All right, so uh, let's take her deep and uh, let's get out of here. All right, we're gonna launch some uh, decoys here. Oops. Come on, let's run into the walls. Or not too many ways. Okay. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh,
Sehr wohl, Herr Kalloy. All right. Uh, we uh, expanded all our torpedoes. Um, got three more ships. And so now we're just going to uh, slowly make our way away from the convoy, away from danger. Depth charges there on that sonar decoy, I think. All right, we're just uh, just waiting for the uh, escorts to get away from us. Um, sonar decoy worked again, no problems. I um, that Didn't seem like uh, there was any issues with the uh, with the escorts. Um, they seem to have uh, I don't know. They just uh, did some pings and launched some uh, death charges and uh, ran away. Uh, I do uh, hear the or my sonarman. Here's a the other U-boat in the area. Um, not sure what they're going to do. If they're going to come in for the attack for the convoy. Pick off some more stragglers or whatever, but uh, we'll see. So far, uh, nothing to uh, nothing to worry about. And uh, looks like uh, What the heck was going on there? It's like uh, oil in the water or something, right? Very loud. <laughs> I don't know what the heck was going on there, but uh, we have a, a submarine Corvette. So the other uh, other submarine is uh, attacking this Corvette. This Corvette was sticking around uh, where we sunk those uh, merchants. I don't know why uh, this U-boat is attacking this Corvette, honestly. Um, seems pretty dangerous to me. But also, uh, wasting torpedoes on a Corvette, it just doesn't seem uh, like the best use of your torpedoes. Go get the merchants. Go attack the merchants. All right, uh, so after that uh, little Corvette thing, the, the, that submarine tried to sink uh, the Corvette. Um, something happened. Uh, I don't know if the uh, Corvette, uh, I don't know if the uh, other U-boat uh, surface to attack the Corvette? I have no idea. Uh, the Corvette didn't seem like it was anywhere near the uh, um, submarine, but uh, it says uh, U-298 was, was sunk by the Corvette, I think. So, uh, uh, I don't know what to make of it. Oh, secure from uh, action stations. Let the crew get some sleep. And uh, when everybody's ready, we'll go ahead and surface and uh, get those survivors and then uh, go on our patrol, our patrol area. We're out of torpedoes, so 
So, um, so we're just going to do uh, the patrol. That's it. All right. Uh, picked up the survivors. Um, gave the rest uh, some food, and uh, we're going to be off. Headed toward our patrol area. Yeah, boy. All right, so uh, while we're on our way to the patrol area, I thought uh, I'd talk a little bit about the distilling machine. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is the distilling machine right here. Um, I can't say 100%, but I'm pretty sure this is the distilling machine. Um, and uh, like any other piece of equipment, So like every other, any piece of equipment on the boat, um, uh, they're interrelated, right? Um, high pressure systems uh, help. So, I, I wish I could shut these guys up. Uh, <laughs> so so like the high pressure system, it helps uh, with the hydro, you know, your air, Air pressure uh, helps with the hydraulics, uh, pressurizing the hydraulic fluid, um, launching torpedoes, high, needed high pressure air, blowing the, the ballast tanks, um, uh, high pressure air, um, uh, working some of the uh, uh, equipment, uh, the, the, like or some of the valves uh, uh, require, requires uh, um, air. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, so so you know these these systems are important um, uh, the uh, hydraulic systems uh, which we haven't talked about I'm pretty sure this is I don't think this is hydraulic I think this is actually a trim pump this to me looks like a trim pump um, I was thinking it was hydraulic but then I was like those are pretty big valves that's you don't need to have valves that big for hydraulic um, that looks like seat like uh, for water right it makes sense that this is the trim pump um, and this is the bilge pump. Uh, very similar looking equipment. Um, bilge pump uh, is a little bit smaller because uh, it's not dealing with the, as much water. In the trim pump, you're, you're dealing with a lot of water in the ballast tanks, um, flighting ballast tanks, uh, emptying ballast tanks, you know, or you know, shifting the emptying from one ballast tank to another. So anyways, uh, so this pretty sure this is the distilling uh, machine. Um, so uh, according to uh, uh, according to the uh, diagram, uh, the information that I got, the distilling machine is in the control room, which this is the control room. And it's on the port side of the boat and guess what well this is the port sides and to me it, it looks like it could be a distilling machine 
right? Um, and uh, some of you might be wondering, well, you know, is it, it seems really small. It is. It, uh, it is very compact, small, uh, lot, like a lot of the stuff on the U-boats. Um, it's uh, a low-capacity distiller. Um, and what it does, it supplies water for drinking, obviously, right? Because uh, humans need water to drink. But uh, it also uh, supplies uh, the ship with uh, um, uh, the water for the batteries, for uh, um, uh, for the battery capacities, uh, for the batteries. So, so um, if you're not familiar with batteries, batteries have uh, water in in their casings, right? That's kind of acid, or they. I would say it's, it's acidic, right? And, and uh, you need water to, to, you need water for the batteries, right? Um, the the distiller in the U-boats, it's a, uh, um, we are already so long on the sea. It 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 uh, it takes the the seawater. Um, it's a vacuum. Um, it's a it's a vacuum uh, uh, distiller. So so yeah, U.S. submarines uh, in World War II um, uh, were air pre like a air pressure distiller. So so uh, they they. They used a sea level pressure, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, for their distillers. But uh, but U-boats used um, U-boats used a, a vacuum distiller. So my understanding um, for for the difference between the vacuum distillers, I think you know the vacuum distillers. If you're familiar with the uh, your chemistry. Um, uh, has to do with you know like, like the equalization uh, uh, of the uh, uh, pressures. I, um, so so you, any any time you have say a liquid, it's going to have a certain amount of e uh, uh, evaporate, right? Uh, and and there's going to be an equalization. So that, that equalization, you know, you're going to have um, molecules uh, uh, e uh, going into the, the air and from the air uh, back into the fluid, right? Um, and if you have um, if you have a vacuum, I think you, it might help it be a little bit more efficient uh, for evaporation purposes. Um, and, and I think that's maybe why they did it, uh, why they used the vacuum, uh, a vacuum distiller. Um, and so, uh, I think also uh, they they didn't need it. The vacuum distiller um, didn't need a pump. Um, it uses vacuum. Vacuum pressure to uh, feed the 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 liquid through, right? The the, the seawater and the water and all that, right? So when the water enters into when the water enters into the distiller at the at the bottom, um, it gets it picks up heat. There's a heat source, right? Um, and uh, uh, and also from uh, the condensate, and and, uh, um, uh, and and the and the brine return coils. So we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about those. Um, um, and and and, and uh, there's a set of uh, healing uh, electric uh, heating coils um, above uh, some baffles. Uh, and that's the uh, uh, main heat, so heat source for the still.
and so the vapor the vapor that uh, the, the 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 vapor um, uh, is drawn up through the uh, through the vacuum uh, 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 through the vacuum pump um, and and when it condenses it it uh, uh, it uh, uh, So when it condenses, the the, the heat uh, um, service uh, in the navy is our family tradition. It 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 discharges the heat, uh, and I think it uh, 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 that heat. Uh, Helps to to warm up the uh, the the, the seawater. Right. Um, and so the heat uh, uh, goes to the salt water feed, right? Um, and, and that helps. And so it's kind of a kind of a you know the you, you, it heats up through uh, through the, the coils and it's kind of warmed up from uh, the brine and, and the condensate uh, uh, that's left over and the vapor uh, goes up the vacuum tube and uh, and as the heat and as, as it cools the heat's removed that that uh, 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 it, that goes to the the, the seawater uh, feed so it kind of keeps it warmed up right so the so the so it kind of helped be a little bit more efficient right um, uh, there is a little paddle in here that agitates the water um, uh, somewhere in here is a salinity Measurement, so it tells you how saline the uh, water is, right? So the concentrate is going to be pretty saline. That uh, um, the leftover it, it spillover, I guess you call it, of brine, right? So as the as the uh, water is uh, gets evaporated and condenses, uh, it's left. There's the brine that's left over, right? That really, really salt, salty water uh, that's left over. Uh, goes into the bilge. Um, uh, so, so it produces about a um, uh, hundred gallons per day. That's how much it produces. Um, most of it's going to be for the batteries. Uh, there is going to be uh, uh, some for drinking water. Um, uh, and, and I'm not sure how much is for the drinking water. Um, and uh, the part of that uh, distilled water uh, is going to go into a tank for the batteries. So it doesn't actually, it doesn't flow directly into the batteries. It's going to go into a tank. Uh, that's specifically for uh, the battery water, for the battery uh, acid. Uh, replacement, right? It's going to replace the the, uh, the loss, the, the, uh, the, the, the battery uh, uh, fluid, the battery acid that's, that uh, evaporates, right? Um, See what else we can say about this. Um, so uh, this this is in, is cast iron. Um, 
and, it, and it's covered by a, a, a copper cap, um, which which creates uh, part of the uh, evaporation chamber. Um, and let's see what else what else we got here. Let me think here. Um, all right, so. So the the uh, water uh, for washing, uh, drinking water, wash water, whatever, uh, uh, is stored in in three tanks. Okay. There is uh, supposed to be a uh, freshwater tank um, in the galley on the port side. Uh, this might be reversed. I think. Galley supposed to be. I don't know if they reverse the galley in this in the game here, but anyways, there should be a should be a, a, a freshwater tank uh, under the floor somewhere. Somewhere, a freshwater tank. Um, there is there is another freshwater tank uh, in the control room. And somewhere, I don't know if it's under the floor, it might be under the floor, another freshwater tank. Um, and again, there is another freshwater tank in the uh, officer's room, officer's, uh, 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 officer's room on the starboard side. So. Somewhere in here, there's another tank. Um, and they're all connected to the uh, distiller, obviously, right? Um, and, uh, that's uh, pretty much pretty much it that I got for you guys, um, as far as the distilling machine goes. Um, so, just real quick recap here, real quick. What happens is seawater is brought in. That seawater uh, is heated uh, by uh, some coils, some heating coils and starts to evaporate it's uh this pump it does not have a mechanical pump has a vacuum pump um but but the vapor is drawn up through the vacuum pump uh and as it cools uh uh it it warms up uh the feed seawater that's being brought in so it's kind of pre pre preheated that water that's the seawater that's in there the brine that's left over, it's dumped into the bilge. Um, the distilled water then goes into freshwater tanks and uh, the battery tanks, uh, tanks for the battery acid. And uh, it produces about 100 gallons a day, uh, roughly 65 to 100 gallons, somewhere around there. Um, obviously, these boats, they don't have a lot of, uh, they don't have a lot of uh, large tanks for fresh water, right? And so the crew does not use water. I mean, you got this small machine here. They don't use water to uh, wash themselves. Um, they'll use they'll use uh, seawater for, for for washing themselves. Um, and just the, uh, the fresh water, the distilled water is just used for uh, for drinking, cooking, stuff like that. Um, uh, uh, I don't know if uh, U.S. subs are uh, have bigger tanks or not uh, for fresh water. I don't. They use a different system, uh, very similar, but they use a distilling system, but. Uh, 
but it might be uh, a bigger. Um, one of the things that, uh, if I remember rightly, for 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 the Type Seven U-boats, um, they could reach the coast of the United States, but only if they uh, if they if they took uh, one of the water tanks that they had the the. I don't know if it was wash water tanks that they had um, and filled it with fuel to make it a, a extra fuel tank. Um, and that could provide enough fuel for them to uh, reach the uh, coast of the United States. Um, but anyways, um, that's about it uh, uh, for this uh for this episode, um, uh, but uh, if you guys uh, if you guys uh, have more information about the uh, U-boat uh, distilling systems, um, if you're an A-ganger, if you know more about it than than I do, uh, feel free to uh, correct me, um, or or you know give me some more information, or give us some more information. You know, leave a comment. Um, but. Uh, Get on it. Let's get on our patrol. Let's finish up the patrol. Alright, it's uh, early in the morning. We've reached our patrol area. Um, somewhere in the Atlantic here. Um, so we're going to just go ahead and uh, do the patrol. Um, I'd like to, to be able to spot some uh, low merchants. Um, uh, would be nice. Um, I think the chances are pretty slim that we'll see any uh, low merchants. Uh, uh, this far out, but we'll see. Uh, we have a deck gun that's ready to be used if we do. All right, uh, we did a quick dive in our patrol area, and uh, we have um, a contact, sonar contact, uh, lone ship. Sounded like. Um, uh, I don't know if it's uh, an escort, uh, corvette, destroyer. Uh, chances are not likely, but uh, you never know. Um, I'm thinking it's a lone convoy, or sorry, lone merchant uh, in the area, and uh, so we're going to uh, investigate. Um, and we got the deck gun, uh, so uh, I think. Uh, I think we'll, uh, maybe we'll get lucky. All right, uh, so, um, I don't know if we're lucky or not. Um, it is a, uh, it is a merchant. Um, uh, it appears that it's probably not, uh, uh, British, not a, an allied, uh, ship. So it's, uh, it appears to be a neutral ship. Swiss, uh, Swiss flagged. But we'll get in, uh, we'll get in position. Check to see if she's a smuggler or not. Uh, the course, uh, the course that she's on, um, is headed toward, uh, uh, British Isles, uh, Britain. Uh, we'll see. We'll get it. We'll get in there and and uh, uh, check her out. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, 
investigate this ship here. What do you need, officer? All right, uh, so uh, here we are at the deck. Um, the uh, cargo ship uh, captain speaks German. Um, so we're going to ask for the shipping documents, obviously. Uh, he says uh, directed at the Port of Lisbon. It's not really heading towards the Port of Lisbon. Uh, transporting medical supplies, supposedly. Uh, let's put the pressure on. Yeah, there we go. So, um, so we uh, repeatedly cast him doubts, and he finally breaks and admits uh, that they're fake documents. All right. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and order evacuation and sink the ship here. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the engine room and uh, plant some explosives. And while the ship is sinking, we're just going to give them some supplies. Extra points. Extra points for that. And we might... Uh, see. Well, it looks like she's sinking. Taking her time. Might help her out though. So. Just make sure she sinks. Some well placed uh, rounds on her, in her hull. That should help, I would think. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, there we go. She's going down. We'll continue our patrol. <laughs> 